Hello folks and welcome to the first Let's Play of Game Bird. Um, I decided to pick uh, a Spyro game for my very first Let's Play because Spyro was the game that introduced me to video games as a whole and it's just a really fun series. Um, so this particular game is actually the last game in a trilogy of isometric platformer um, Game Boy Advance Spyro games. So usually when you hear Spyro, people will probably think of like the original trilogy on the PlayStation, but uh, yeah, this was part of a different trilogy. And I think this is actually a kind of maybe underrated, like underplayed game in the Spyro series. So yeah, I just wanted to introduce it to you all because it's a game that I really enjoyed when I was little. Um, so yeah, let's get right to it. Ah, we're here at last. You can remove your blindfolds now. Are you finally going to tell us why we had to wear blindfolds, Professor? Well, my secret lab wouldn't be secret if everyone knew where it was. Anyway, I brought you here because I have a couple of great surprises for you. The first one is over there. Uh, go ahead and take a look. Alright, so let's take a look in this thing. Ah, it's Ripto. Um, he's the antagonist of the second Spyro game, and he's appeared in a few more games since then. Uh, is this kind of, some kind of toy projector? It looks like Ripto through the people. It is Ripto. That machine is my most important and secret invention. Wait a minute, are you telling us that we're actually looking at Ripto himself? Correct. That people is a, actually a tiny rip in the fabric of space. Wow, was this we could always keep a close eye on that crafty Ripto. I can see why you would want to keep this secret from him. Precisely. Now then, my other surprise is not quite ready to be presented. Why don't you explore my virtual playground when I finish up? Right. Let's go into this piggy looking thing. Uh, so this is basically the um, tutorial segment, so there's little holograms of the professor and he'll tell you what to do. Would Spyro like to practice Spyro's skills without the fear of getting hurt? Alright, your first task, Spyro, will be to destroy four baskets. Press your B button to use your breast ability on the basket. I've always been curious why they uh, changed the design of the uh, treasure chest to these baskets from the uh, the red chest that were in the original Spyro game. Oh, did I get four? Yep, where's the other one? Mm. Yeah, it's over there. Oh, where'd it go? It's been it's been a good while since I last played this, but I remember I did replay it a bunch of times when I was little. So Ah, okay, so that <laughs> the big one was a basket. Uh I thought it was just part of the scenery for a second. Anyway. Alright, so next I have to destroy four vases. Vases don't burn, so you have to press the R button to charge them. Yeah, vases were uh, also introduced in the second Spyro game, because in the first game they were just like metal boxes you had to charge. Okay. Spyro must now charge or use the breast ability to destroy training dummies. Controls in these games aren't terribly difficult. 
Very impressive, Spyro. Now try jumping. To jump, simply press the A button. Now try Spyro's glide ability. To glide, press the A button twice. Once you jump in again, to glide. Alright, and then you can hover if you press the A button while gliding. Uh, so like you said, that just kind of gives you a little bit more distance at the end of your glide. Alright, training is concluded. Absolutely outstanding. I think the professor needs to tone down the praise in this place just a bit. <laughs> you can leave the Spyro training area by dropping down to here. Practice makes Spyro perfect. Come back again soon, Spyro. Mm, yeah, no, there's, there's no point going back here. Alright, so let's see what this other surprise is. Ah, you're back. How did you like my playground? It was really great, Professor. Anyway, I'm finished. Allow me to show you my latest invention. Butler, the automated assistant. Wow, looks impressive. What does he do, Professor? Butler's purpose will be to assist me in the lab. Isn't he wonderful? Ha! Ooh, make him do something. All right then. Butler, why don't you bring Spyro some milk and cookies? Yes, Professor. Milk and cookies for Spyro. Milk. Beep. Cookies. 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 <laughs> oh dear, I think he's malfunctioning. Professor, he's out of control. Turn him off. Alright. Wait! I forgot to install the off switch. I can't turn him off. Ah, Spyro, do something! Find a way to shut down this mechanical menace. You can overload his circuit somehow. It might cause him to shut down. Looks like there's a lot of overload potential in that electrical contraption over there, Spyro. Try leading him near it. Yeah, so basically you just have to get him to run into this thing. Uh, I think you have to get close enough to him so he starts following you like this. There we go. Spyro, you did it! But something has happened to the people machine. The hole's getting bigger. Sure enough, Butler must have overloaded the machine. We'll do anything we can to help, Professor. Just tell us what to do. Listen very carefully, Spyro. A heart is an artifact with very special properties. And every land has one. I used the heart in my secret lab to create that peephole. Now I need the heart from all the other lands to close that giant hole. Okay, great, we can do that. How many hearts and where do we find them? There are 12 hearts outside this lab, and one unique heart in each one. Uh, right, how do we get out of here? Ah yes, I have a device that will allow you to warp to any land. It's right over... Are you referring to this? I mean, my warp device? Ha ha ha! It's Ripto, again! Doesn't he ever go on vacation or anything? What do you know? I was just dreaming of a foolproof plan to rule the world, when suddenly an enormous hole leading to the professor's secret lab appears out of thin air. Spyro, this is terrible. You must do something quickly. I'm going to bring all my Rhinox through this hole and then warp them throughout all the lands. Instant domination. Too easy. Bwahaha. Ripto, I'm going to kick your... Womp. Oh no, we've been warped to the dragon shores. We better track down all the hearts and find our way back to the secret lab. Hey, I managed to grab one of the professor's notebooks. I use it to keep track of our progress. You can look at it by holding the L button and pressing start. Right. So yeah, we're, we're here in dragon shores now. Um, it's kind of like a recurring location in the Spyro series. Um, you know, it's where all the dragons go for vacation. And now we can kind of explore it. So, oops. I like how the sheep kind of, <laughs> they just run on two legs and you just look terrified. Um, so yeah, uh, if you've never played a Sparrow game before, there's creatures around the land um, called fodder. And if you flame those, you get a little butterfly that Spark can eat and you can gain back your health. 
So Spark is your uh, health indicator, basically. Spyro, Rhinox suddenly appeared and stole all the toddler's toys. All we have left to keep them amused is the heart of the dragon shores. What? We need that heart to stop Ripto. Isn't that more important? Look, Mr. Dragonfly, Ripto is nothing compared to a large group of bored kids. Well, if we find their toys and bring them back, can you give us the heart? Of course. Here's a list of their toys. Return them and I'll give you the heart. Alright, so yeah, one unique thing about this game is that you get all these different quests that you have to complete in order to uh, progress in the game. Um, no other Spyro game really does this, I think. Um, so that's one of the things that makes this unique and I think also makes it one of my favorite titles. Uh, let me see, what did I set as my R button again? <laughs> um, you know, I'll figure it out later. Uh, yeah, for now, uh, these are all the toys you have to get. <laughs> they look, they look kind of silly, but yeah, the Spyro action figure, the Ripto action figure, Bianca, Hunter, Sheila, Sergeant Bird, and Agent Nine. So you'll find these scenes like scattered throughout the rest of the world, and then you get them, and then you can complete the uh, the quest and get the heart. Right. Yeah. Um. Oh, there's some switches here. Ah, oh, we opened that. Ah, uh, this is Moneybag's vault. Let's see what's inside. Probably tons of gems. <laughs> so yeah, um, again for those, those, those of you who've never played Spyro before, uh, Moneybag's is this bear character and he's just basically just greedy and he takes all your gems in order to let you access different areas. So we'll probably run into him sometime soon. The fairy shrine is just up this cliff, but Rhinox smashed the ladder. I teleport you up there, but Ripto checked that spellbook out of the library. Okay. Oh, Spyro, Rhinox appeared out of thin air and all my toddlers fled. I've looked all over the place, but I can't find them. Can you keep an eye out for them? Sure, if you find any of them, we'll send them home. Well, thanks, I'm worried sick about them. It's kind of gruesome that the uh, the eyeballs come out and they even they even follow you. Like, look at this. It's creepy stuff, man. <laughs> okay. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna make this a 100% run, which means I'm gonna try to find all the collectibles um, in the entire game. Uh, nope. Here's one of the kids. You found me. Hee hee, I knew you could never, I, I could never hide from you, Spyro. Do you know where the other kids are? I only ran off, probably to other lands. I'll go home now. Here, Spyro, you can have this box I found. Bye now. Alright, so yeah. Um, the nature of this game is that there's a lot of backtracking. So you can't really clear a level the first time you go there. Uh, you have to go back once you get other stuff and then see what you can do with those things. Um, so I'll talk to Moneybags first, see what this is. My dear friend Spyro, I was just out for a stroll and I happened across this ghastly little play thing. Right, how much do you want for it? Yes, because we know what you want. <laughs> Spyro, I'm surprised at you. However, my mansion does have its maintenance costs. Let's say I part with this trinket for a paltry 300 gems. How does that sound? Uh, well, I don't have 300 yet, so... That's too bad. You especially can truly appreciate this one-of-a-kind item. Yeah, we should be able to get enough gems soon. Uh, that's another world over there, so we won't go there yet. Because we're going to go up here. Welcome to the Fairy Library, source of all information in the Dragon Shores. So this is the first level of the game. Uh, yeah, another unique thing about this game is um, in other Spyro games, you have these portals that take you to the other levels. 
And basically the reason why those exist in the first place is because um, in the first Spyro game, they had to kind of like mask all the level loading. And so they they put in the portal so you, you can't see like the levels uh, loading up. Um, but in this game, you actually, I guess it's a little more um, exploratory in that the levels are just kind of built into the landscape. So you have to go around and um, find them and then you can just enter them like that. Uh, Oh, it's so chilly. Even the flutter bugs have to keep flapping to stay warm. I bet if you warm up that flutter bug, it will help you get around the library. Okay, so you're supposed to flame these things. And they carry you like so. Uh, and then you have, to, you have to press the jump button to get off of them. Oh, Spyro, can you do me a big, big favor? The pilot light in the hearse has gone out. Can you light the pilot light for us so we can get some warmth in here? So yeah, in all these uh, worlds, there's just like a bunch of quests uh, that you complete to get stuff. It's a spell scroll. The writing glitters in the light. This gives you the ice press ability. Uh, press select to switch it and the B button to use it. So yeah, we got a, a new breast power. Um, this kind of started in the uh, Enter the Dragonfly game where Spyro got different kinds of breasts and then that lets you do different kinds of things um, with the environment. Oh yeah, so we also have this. The uh, He has a wind breast in this too, I forgot about that. All right. So I apologize that you can't hear the the game music. Um, I do like this soundtrack a lot. Uh, you know, every world has its own unique song um, in this game compared to like the first game in the GBA trilogy, which just reused a lot of tracks. So a lot of the levels in that game felt, I guess, not as distinct, partly because of that. Uh, I don't feel the same way with this game. I think every level is like you know, it has its own flavor, um, so yeah, it's really nice. Oh, Spyro, those obnoxious Rhinox are making it impossible to read. And they're ruining the decor, putting up those nasty banners. Spyro, help. Burning embers suddenly shot out of the heating vents. Books are in danger. You must have blown too hard when you lit the hearse, Spyro. Please do something, you've got to put these fires out. Yep, so you just put them out with your ice press. Still can't get over those eyeballs. Hey Spyro, there's a little red guy with a horn on his head in the library's XYZ section. Oh, I wonder who that is. He's asked not to be disturbed, though I did hear him mumble your name. <laughs> Alright guys, you guys can't hear this either, but the uh, the drum rhinox are making this super obnoxious sound. <laughs> Alright, um, go over here. Sometimes these levels have glides where you can't really see where you're going, so you just kind of have to find somewhere to fly from and then try to get to where you need to go. Oh, this one over here. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, there's anything? Nope. Yeah, there's also a button that just looks, lets you uh, look around. Okay, uh, these paw prints do something later in the game. They basically lead to a secret area, but you need a specific item to get to that first. All right.
Yeah, one reason why I like the uh, sort of quest aspect of this game a lot is in the uh, the other Game Boy Advance Spyro games. Um, you just kind of did the same scene over and over in each level. Like there'd be a few things uh, hidden around the landscape, and then like maybe three quests where you have to like help someone, or then um, oh, did I jump on this? Uh, yeah, you have to help someone or like flame six different objects in the level um, and it just got pretty repetitive so I think this game solved a lot of those problems uh, I don't know where's the other where's the other switch okay. uh, hello Spyro I'm now the head librarian here at the library I only started a week ago I've got some bad news though. Ripto's back and he's got the professor and the... Uh, and he's taking over the dragon realms as we speak. Oh my, that would explain all these noisy Rhinox. We need to find hearts so we can put a stop to this. Can you help? I can't give you the heart of the fairy library. Its power maintains the books, but... The professor once made a maintenance machine for us. We've never used it though. And the Rhinox have made off with it. If we can get that machine back, could you use it instead and spare the heart? We really need that heart. Of course, if you can find the machine and return it to me, I'll give you the heart. It's not in the library, so you have to search other lands to find it. I'll give you a list of its parts in case the Rhinox have dismantled it. Alright, so we got another quest. As I said, as I said uh, there's going to be a lot of backtracking in this game. Maybe some people aren't a fan of that, but I don't know. I, I don't really mind. Another vault. And we got one of the toys. It's a Ripto action figure. It's small and ugly, just like the real thing. Uh, there's also this, uh, wow, I missed all of those. This uh, red chest here. And you need the uh, corresponding colored key in order to open that. So we'll have to come back here later. Right. Hmm. Uh, there was this part over here. You... Oh, you know what? I feel like I can... Yeah, if I get up there, I can glide over. <clears throat> Or this thing will just take me there. All right. Another red chest. Um, okay. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, we can go in here now. Aha! There you are. Looking for a way into the Dragon Coast Spira? This spell book might help you. I've been reading through it and boy there are some great spells in it. Like this one. Wahaha. So he just he's just making a bunch of minions. And this one. Oh boy, a giant rhino caterpillar. Great. Uh I think you have to flame this guy? Yes. You do take damage if he runs into you. Not too difficult. You can't read any of the spells in this, in this book, but it glows with magic. This book gives you quick escape ability, Spyro. You can select it from the menu to return to the Dragon Shores from anywhere. So yeah, it's basically... Uh, it just lets you leave the level whenever you want. Uh, okay. I don't th think there's like a, a million red keys or whatever. I think there's just one red key and then that lets you uh, access all of the red chests. Okay. Oh, there's another thing here. Okay. 
There was still some stuff up there. I'm gonna see if I can go, but if not, uh, we'll just exit the level and then head somewhere else. I feel like one of the bugs goes there. It might be this one, actually. Yeah. Yep, because it takes you over there first and then you go over here. Um, also, there's uh, no lives in this game, so it doesn't matter too much if you die. It might just uh, put you back at a, an earlier point in the level. Now oh, here's a green chest. Not gonna take that bug quite yet. Go back. Why are there so many bugs in the library? I don't know. Or maybe, or maybe the that first fairy told us. <laughs> Chest. Oh, that was a 25 gem. Okay, now I have to go back and talk to Bubbles. Uh, yes. Got another book. A book about kangaroos. It's old, it smells funny. Wonder if we'll need this. So I think that brings you to another level called the uh, Kangaroo Hoodoos. So we're just going to quick escape because there isn't really much else to do here, I believe. And we'll go find somewhere else to explore. Yep, we're up here now. So yep, I think I'm just going to clear up this area and then we'll stop this part of the let's play. But um, yeah, once we come back, we will go to the Dragon Coast this way. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this first episode. Um, I want to try to be kind of informative about the game and be fun at the same time. So uh, let me know what you thought and yeah, see you next time.